Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show with my Ask the Expert, Dr. Ted Cole. We want to tell you about neurotransmitter therapy, which sounds to me, uh, based upon your glowing reviews of it, I know this is your business, man, but it sounds to me like the, maybe the holy grail of fixing stuff for people that's going wrong. You rattled off a list of common ailments that plague people, one of which, in this serious problem in our country, depression, and also the ADD that people get pharmaceuticals for both of them, and it's a lifelong, sorry, you are addicted to pharmaceuticals for the rest of your life. It's, you're saying that doesn't have to be that way. No, not a bit. My question is always why. If something's not working right, well, why? There's got to be reason for this. And unfortunately, the pharmacology doesn't fix things. It doesn't really heal or correct. I learned that my first day in pharmacology class in medical school. So when you're dealing with anything involving brain function, this involves a neurotransmitter system. So all you have to do is get that functioning properly and you have to fix it. It's like an assembly line gone bad. Hmm. Say it might produce a car, but it doesn't have two front wheels. Same way with our metabolism. It has to form the right amounts, the right stuff, at the right time. And if that's off, things don't work right. So then we fix it, correct it, get it working right, and these things go away. And it's interesting, of course, the brain is responsible for all of the other stuff. So if, for example, you're not producing enough uh, insulin, let's say, I'll throw that out there just because it's more pancreatic insulin, mm -hmm. that, that would be your brain and its connection to and its, res and its transmitting to the pancreas is miswired or not functioning properly. Right. Maybe not so much the pancreas itself, right. it's the brain. Right, exactly. Now there can, some, can be some other factors with oh, some of right. those things, but right. when you look at fixing major systems of control. I mean, the brain is right up there at the top. Exactly. And so it controls a ton of stuff. And really, most of these problems either improve dramatically or just go away completely once we correct that. Hmm. And it's a host of problems. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. There is a list of them. It's never ending almost, but everything that you can think of is going to be at some point involving brain function and control of that function of the body. Okay. Whether it's the hormone system, or gut function, or muscle function, or mood, or attention, or sleep, all of these are regulated by brain activity. And you, you, you claim to have a fabulous success rate. I'm, I'm amazed by this, and I'll admit, I'm, I'm sitting right here as I typically am, a bit skeptical. So I'm. I understand. You are as, <laughs> com you are as confident though about it as you could be, and you in fact take the, right. the, or the uh, amino acids yourself. Yeah, it's one of the best anti-aging therapies out there. You're again correcting brain function, and when we see the dramatic increase in things like Alzheimer's and dementia and that, this is one of the reasons why it happens. So by correcting these, you affect the hormone system. Everybody wants hormone health. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Well, this is the first place to start for that because it controls all the hormone levels and functions. It sounds too good to be true. Uh, if you want to reach uh, Dr. Cole, what's the phone number again? It's five six three. Four three two one. Four three two one. And the name of your practice. So people uh, know. Cole Center for Healing. Cole Center for Healing. Good to see you again.